do you get? Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at Star Perogier for the PC Engine CD. It was developed by Hudson Soft and released in 1992. It's basically Hudson's equivalent of Konami's Parodius series of games. It's a lighthearted parody of the very awesome Star Soldier series. This is what I like to call a comfort game. It's one you can play to feel better when you're feeling a bit blue. Some of my other comfort games include Pocket Fighter and anything Kirby. The plot, as best as I can tell, is that the Mother Brain and Star Brains from the Star Soldier games have gone to Earth and started wreaking havoc. So Earth reaches out to Bomberman, or more accurately, Bombermen, who live on a planet populated entirely by Hudson Soft characters. So the Bombermen prepare a giant Bomberman spaceship, the Caesar Starship from Star Soldier, and best of all, a giant anthropomorphic PC engine, and send them all to battle against the Star Brains. I personally don't really need any reasoning at all behind why I'm blowing stuff up, but it's cool that this elaborate plot is in place. If nothing else, it's a good reason to watch some wacky cutscenes. The most important part of any shooter is the gameplay, obviously, and luckily Star Perogier has basically the exact same gameplay from the Star Soldier series, which are some of the best shoot 'em ups from the day. You can choose between three different ships as mentioned before, the Caesar ship which plays the exact same as it does in the Star Soldier games and has all the same power ups, the Bomberman ship which oddly enough can utilize bombs which are really awesome. As when fully powered up, they have an area of effect, and a single shot can hit multiple times, which is especially useful against bosses, but my absolute favorite ship is the PC Engine. Nothing makes you feel like an instrument of death and destruction, quite like flying through the air as a PC Engine, with controllers whirling around you while you launch giant CDs at your enemies. Awesome! The power-up system is also the same as you'd find in any Star Soldier game. Little capsules will appear on screen and shooting them will have one of the game's many power-ups appear. They look different for each ship, for instance the power-ups for the PC Engine look like little hue cards which is a nice touch. Collecting several power-ups of the same color increase its effectiveness and once you've got a weapon maxed out, you don't lose any of that power when switching to a different shot type but you do go down in power every time you take a hit. Luckily there are a bunch of support power-ups like a shield, speed boost, and homing missiles to help you out as well, and they all come in the form of stars with letters on them. The only issue I have with the power-up system is that sometimes you accidentally get a power-up you didn't really want, and you lose the one you did. Or at least until the next time it appears. This is only a slight annoyance though. The controls are spot on, the challenge is reasonable. Star Perogier is pretty easy for the first few levels, but the difficulty ramps up in the second half, and there are some really fun boss battles with some really wacky bosses. Overall, the gameplay in Star Perogier is just great. I like it every bit as much as Star Soldier. This is also a game with some outstanding presentation. The graphics are extremely colorful and all of the stages are really detailed and look great, as do all of the enemies. And the cutscenes, the few that there are, also look really good. As nice as the graphics are though, I think the sound design is even better. The soundtrack is just great, and it fits the lighthearted feel of the game to a T. It's music that just makes you feel better as you play, and it comes through with crystal clear CD quality. 
I don't have a single complaint about the graphics or sound in Star Proger. They're amazing. So, Star Proger on PC Engine might not have gotten a release outside of Japan, but it was released on the Wii Virtual Console worldwide in 2008, so American and European gamers could get a chance to appreciate this game in all its splendor. If you're a fan of Hudson Soft, Star Soldier, or just shoot 'em ups in general, check out Star Proger. It's a damn good time. Check it out. <laughs> 